Welcome back. It's 1115 here at 590 The Fan with She Said He Said. I'm Kelly Lamb, Gordon Montgomery, and we are so excited to have these two gentlemen in the room with us right now. We have fallen in love with this organization and what they do and what they're about. And every time I go into the location in Chesterfield, I'm wowed every time. And when you walk back into the actual, I guess, uh, what do you want to... The hangers? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm. Our first that's guest I, today... That's the I'm here. Yeah. And the, the first guest we had today was a place to go and unwind and re... Get the brain back in. and energize Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to go because Refocus. words don't come to me very well. I don't know if it's <laughs> age or too much stuff. But Wings of Hope. And the gentlemen we have today are Brett... Heinrich, right? I said Rich last time. He's Wings of Hope president and CEO. And then Rich Rop, which is the board on the board. Mm-hmm. And then also the chair for the gala, which happens in February, which we were just talking about before we came on. We had went to the event uh, three years ago and were wowed by it, fell in love with it. And then um, we did a story on it, I guess not too long ago, in Chesterfield Lifestyle, which opened our eyes more. And then I took the tour inside, which I couldn't quit talking about, still talk about, going over to Wings of Hope and going in the hangars and then finding out everything we're going to find out now. Then we went to the gala this year in February. You guys are going to, I don't, can you find a bigger place or because it's really beautiful where it's at, but my gosh, it was just packed with people that were so excited to be there and be part of it. Kelly, we are uh, the hottest ticket in town. Uh, and you are. We love uh, our people. Our volunteers are amazing and just a great group of people. 500 plus turned out to the Chase Park Plaza and the Corazon Ballroom and we raised more money than we ever have to ensure people have access to the health care they need. It's, it was incredible. In minutes, you know, people raising, uh, you know, their hand, just donating. Right. And it was so cool, too, because the stories that you hear about these people that, that you've helped. And it was great because we did miss the one year we went three years ago and we missed the second year. And then the third year that we went, we actually saw we saw the the, the continuation, not the finalization, but the continuation yeah. of a young man that that had just gotten help from you and where he is today, three years later, which was incredible. Absolutely, so many of our patients need access to specialized care that they simply can't get in their communities, and they're at the end of their rope. And so we're with them for the long term. We watch these patients really grow up in front of our eyes. So, so for those that, that don't, you know, they've never heard of Wings of Hope, they don't know, you know, I'd heard a little bit about it, and you can't experience it enough unless you're, when you go over, of course, you can go to the website and things like that, but when you walk in and you see from where it started and the pictures, you know, from, I think, which are over in Africa, maybe? Uh, That's uh, right. You know, and, and how it started, which I want to let you tell that, it just, it really, really, and that. I, I want to go on and on and on and the volunteers. So let's first start with talking about what Wings of Hope is. Absolutely. So Wings of Hope is a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to save and change lives using the power of aviation. We literally reach people who are forgotten in countries all around the world and transport people here in the United States that need access to care they simply cannot get in their home communities. And Kelly and Gordon, you asked about our founding story. It really is quite incredible. Four St. Louis visionary businessmen were supporting a Catholic charities effort in Kenya. And so it was literally the first flying nuns uh, that were (laughs) flying uh, missions on behalf of Catholic charities. The nuns would fly into the bush, uh, deliver medication, care for the people, and then at night they would fly back out The challenge was when they parked their aircraft and went into their tents for the evening, the hyenas would come out. And back in those days, their aircraft was covered with fabric that was held on with glue, and the hyenas loved the smell and taste of that glue, so they were literally eating the nun's airplane. Oh, my gosh. Our four St. Louis businessmen heard about this and said, we've got to do better for the nuns. And so they raised the money bought the plane, and sent it to Kenya. And that was the very first Wings of Hope aircraft uh, to go in, a, in, a, in service to international field. 
Wow, and then it has just developed from there, and you can see that when you walk in side in the hangar. Those planes that are inside the hangar, they're actually all still being donated, right? Absolutely. We have so many generous people that want to see their airplanes go on and serve humanity. And so we receive 18 to 20 airplanes a year uh, that are donated from private uh, pilots who either are, are at a stage in their lives where they're giving up flying or they're stepping aside for another reason, or maybe they're just purchasing another airplane. And planes become almost like a dog to people. They're, they're a pet, they're a part of the family, and they want to see them go on and do great things. So we're very grateful for the donations we receive because not only does it allow us to put aircraft in service around the world, but then the planes that aren't appropriate for service are sold for program revenue, which is incredibly helpful to fund our mission. And not only that, so the people that I would see working on the planes when I was taking the tour inside the hangar, <laughs> um, those people are volunteers that are working on the planes, taking their time. The pilots, what about the pilots? Wings of Hope is unlike any other organization I've ever seen in terms of engaging volunteers around one mission. My team of paid staff members is only 15 people but we have 300 incredible volunteers, uh, more than 80 volunteers who are people, engineers, aviators who've retired from Boeing and other locations and work uh, with alongside our, our paid uh, aviation mechanics to keep our planes running. Which is incredible, all, absolutely incredible. All of our pilots are volunteers, our entire purchasing department, our accounting team, uh, with the exception of our CFO, all volunteers. Wow. And this is all over, I mean, this is happening all over the world now. This is not just, even though you have your location here in Chesterfield, Wings of Hope is all over the world. Absolutely. The international humanitarian work that we really grew up doing over our 56-year period is why we've been nominated twice for the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, we've served in 47 countries around the world, and today we're at, 10, at work in 10 countries uh, in addition to the great work we're doing, doing here in the United States. Uh, Gordon and Kelly, I had the opportunity to see a number of our countries last year in action, and there's just miracles happening all around the world uh, that for people who could not be reached any other way than by aircraft. You know, it's pretty incredible what you guys do, but there's there's also, even though people are donating their time and they're, they're donating their time, they're donating uh, their planes, they're donating all this stuff, it still takes a lot of money to make this work. And that's what the gal is all about. And Rich, I know you've got, some, you can tell us some stuff about how that it works and is incorporated into helping Wings of Hope. And how can we help? And how can we help, yes. Well, uh, the Wings of Hope Gala, uh, hope is where the heart is. Uh, if you want to attend this year, you're too late. So you're going to have to wait until <laughs> yeah, uh, next year. 2020. Um, absolutely. It was on February 9th, Chase Park uh, Plaza Hotel. Great venue. Um, you had mentioned it earlier. Uh, what I saw was an energized room. Mm -hmm. um, I heard the word magical used. And it was just a great energy. So, um, you know, I think Brett has had mentioned earlier, um, it's our single largest uh, fundraising event annually for the MAT program, Medical Air Transport. Um, it's our most successful gala ever. And as, you know, co-chair, pretty proud of that. Yeah. Uh, but that stems from uh, just having a great room of people that really understand the message. So you'll be looking for, you know, for next year, things for people to think about is you're always looking for great items, you know, places to go, uh, you know, travel options or, or sports uh, paraphernalia, things that, you know, can be auctioned off to be able to raise money. Absolutely. Um, everybody can have a hand in this. Um, it's, it's, it's really uh, putting something up on the auction block that can, can raise uh, good amount of money right and every uh, every dollar of that is really going to the bottom line to to fund it um, and again when you hear the stories about what Matt does uh, for people getting them to where they need to be for the specialized medical care people that might not be able to take off work uh, that can't afford the transportation itself that is huge those are things here in st. Louis we have some of the best um, uh, hospitals some of the best medical attention that you can get globally 
So we have that convenience, but there are others that just don't have the means, the wherewithal to get it done. So it's very critical to get those donated items, sure. um, to get just funds. If you don't have a thing, donate funds. Yeah, and then absolutely. donate time. Right. That's key as well. Well, you have something coming up, uh, an airplane raffle, uh, which looks like it's on April 1st. Tell us about that. Get your tickets early. Uh, the <laughs> tickets open on April 1st at 6 a.m. Central, and Kelly, within three hours, it will be sold out. Oh uh, tickets are $75 a piece, and they're capped at just over 4,000 tickets. So the odds are pretty great uh, that you could win an airplane. And there's some other great uh, second and third and fourth prizes as well. Uh, but it, it all raises money for uh, Wings of Hope, and we are able to put that money right back into the mission of the organization. 4,000 tickets. That's right. And sold in sold in the first four hours. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> and and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge Kelly and Gordon. Okay. I'm going to bet you don't normally hear about an airplane auction no. where you can no. just buy a ticket and take home no. an airplane. So I'm, I'm kind of an airplane geek. I, I run a private flight operation here in St. Louis. I've been in aviation for 30 years. And every time I get the postcard, now I'm on the board of directors, so I, I get how all this works. I got front end notice. I missed it last year. I was sitting in another meeting going, oh, I've got to get on my iPhone. I hit send to buy the tickets and they were already sold out. Wow. And it was 1030 a.m. We're so going to get one. I'd be the person that went and go, where's the blinkers? I want to get this home. <laughs> well, well, my wife already told me I'm not allowed to win. If, allowed if I to win it, I have to give it back. Now, have so. you had anybody ever win and actually give it back to Wings of Hope? You know, we haven't, but I suspect one day that will happen. Because that uh, sounds really cool. Because, you know, sometimes yeah. you win. I'm that person that won the raffle one time, and it was like, thousand dollars it was above a thousand dollars which is not a plane of course but still a nice little chunk and i'm like oh gosh if i win just keep it i won <laughs> I'm like, oh my god i was just kidding no i gave i gave it but i was i was all the way home i was like gosh i could have bought shoes i could have bought a purse but i know they needed it <laughs> now you don't need to know how to fly to get this plane because it comes with private pilots too so what what, is, what does this say what does that mean so when you win the plane, we will deliver it to oh. <laughs> you wherever you are in the country. And that can be such a fun day. I had the opportunity. Not for my neighbors <laughs> when it gets to my house. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've, we have had winners in Ohio, uh, Seattle, and we, our pilots, our private pilots, fly the planes to the winner and present the keys to them. And it's such a touching moment because they'll bring their whole families out and want to celebrate and go to dinner. Uh, I'd bring the whole neighborhood out. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, I just want a plane. So, okay, so on April 1st, it, it, this is at uh, 6 a.m., the tickets will begin to go on sale. So will they go to Wings of Hope? Um, dot in uh, NGO to be able to, where is there a link that'll go There's up on tab. the front page? Okay, and then yep. you click on that to purchase your tickets. Absolutely. So you could actually win a plane for a whole seventy five dollars. You got it. <laughs> That's incredible. We're in. We're, We're in. in. <laughs> We're in. Now you have a um, a trivia. And this is this is not an April Fool's joke. No. Even it's on April 1st, <laughs> yeah, great day to pick. Yeah. You get that phone call. It's you want to real. play? Just didn't. Um, now you also have something coming up before then, March thirtieth, uh, 007 theme trivia night. Everyone loves trivia. That is like huge. James Bond too. Everybody loves trivia, and Gordon. Everybody loves James Bond. Yeah. So we will have actually Miss Missouri will be there as a Bond girl. Wonderful. We'll have an Aston Martin there, so you can get your picture uh, with. A Bond girl and an Aston can Martin. Can I win it for $75? Yeah, you can. <laughs> that would be a good fundraiser. That would be I a would great put in fundraiser. A few for that one. I, I think we'd have to sell more tickets, though, <laughs> yeah. to fund that one. Yeah, absolutely. But it should be a great night. And uh, we can go online to see if we want to be part of Trivia Night as well. That's right. Okay. Wingsofhope.ngo. Perfect. Is there anything that we didn't, we weren't able uh, to mention that you want to make sure that you leave here today that people have in their hearts about Wings of Hope? You know, one thing we're very aware of is the increased shortage in the field of aviation, not just pilots, yes. but mechanics. And so we've come together with some great partners here in St. Louis. Uh, Merritt's, Boeing have funded a new effort that has brought together school districts, Jennings, Ferguson, Florissant, Kirkwood, uh, and the Girl Scouts to really 
create a new way of recruiting and getting young people excited about aviation. And so in just a few weeks, uh, students from each of those districts and the Girl Scouts will be at Wings of Hope to take part in a new program called Soar into STEM. And they're going to learn firsthand about aerodynamics, about aviation, and ultimately the plane that they actually work on is going to be put in field service for Wings of Hope in Paraguay. So the planes that they touch here will touch lives in a Goosebumps. Latin American country. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> this is That's such a awesome. trying time for families, too, because I'm, I'm reading here, too, about how so a child born with a club foot typically takes, it takes them every three to four weeks they have to travel throughout that first year that's that's time consuming it, and it has expensive. to wear My on gosh. the families absolutely gordon that kind of expense would bankrupt really any family mm -hmm. regardless of income if it uproots families uh you have to move sometimes and just change your whole lifestyle well wings of hope we play a small part in that because we transport those families at absolutely no cost until they're... That's a they huge part, not a small part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge part that they maybe couldn't even get there to be able to get the treatment. So that's life-saving. And to Gordon's point, we stay with them until from the first to the last flight, whether that's five flights or 30 flights, we'll transport them at no cost until that little baby's feet are totally healed. That's wonderful. Oh, everything that you do. And I love that because I, I have, you know, read and, and heard the talks and that about how aviation and that we're going to have a shortage of pilots. And, you know, as time goes on, that we really need to educate and get our youth excited again about this field and realize that it's there and it's needed. And there's, there's jobs there for that. So I love that you're educating the youth and getting them excited about aviation. It's so important. It's, it does so much medically. Um, and as far as just changing the world business, I mean, what do we do without it? It'd be a long drive, a lot. Absolutely. <laughs> so there's many or a long ways. swim. <laughs> so there's a lot of many ways you can to, to uh, donate money. You can just go online and donate money, I'm sure. But do these fun events. Do the Try to win an airplane. Go to the double uh, James Bond-themed trivia night, which is March 30th. Go to uh, the golf tournament, which is May 20th. And... Uh, have some fun while you're raising money for a good cause. Yeah, it's great to be a part of something that you can have a wonderful time, be educated, you know, and be so heartwarming, you know, making a difference in people's lives. So we love Wings of Hope, and we're so glad for all that you do and all the volunteers that, you know, spend their time. Thank you to them because you couldn't do any of it without them. That's what's so important, people. If you even just – all you have is maybe an hour. If you can give it to whatever charity is you love – um, you can give that time. It's just so needed. And it, you have so many wonderful people that are behind your organization. Thank goodness. And thank you to you. Appreciate you so much taking time to come here and hope everybody will get on quickly at 6 a.m. April 1st. Uh, we'll be on at probably 605, <laughs> <laughs> making sure we get our airplane. <laughs> Kelly Gordon, thank you so oh, much for thank, helping thank you. raise awareness. Oh, I thought you, went, oh, I thought you had something to say. No, I'm thank so excited. you for what you guys do. This is incredible. We just need to get the word out more. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Brett Heinrich and Rich Rop, thank you so much for being here. Wings of Hope, go to wingsofhope.ngo. Check it out for yourself. Go over, say hello, go to, over to the building. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, look forward to all the upcoming events. Thank you so much.